here we have a um, expression we need to rationalize it let's simplify the radical signs first okay um, radical 24 has a 4 in there so it's radical 6 radical 8 has a 4 in there so it's radical 2 okay now let's put it in there so this one is equal to 1 minus radical 3 and 3 times 2 is 6 so I have 6 radical 2 minus 2 radical of 6 now do not combine those two because they're not the same one is apple one is orange all right, in order to make the bottom become a purely a number instead of a irrational number, we're going to multiply its conjugate, which happened to be a plus in there. And now, if you ever wonder why we do that, the reason is simple. On the bottom here, we're using a squared minus b squared form. So if you were to factor this one, you have minus b and plus b over here. Okay, when we do the cross multiplication, the cross term cancels. So as we go a little longer, you'll see. Um, how it turns into nicely a, a, a real number instead of a irrational number. Okay, let's go on a little bit. Let's do the bottom here since this is in a minus b, a plus b, so the cross term cancels out. Um, let's take a bottom over here, and then we have 6 radical 2 squared, okay, minus 2 radical 6 squared. And here we have 36 times 2. It has to time 2 because it's a radical 2. When you square it, it should be a 2. Minus 4 times uh, 6. So this is 72 minus uh, uh, 24. Okay, so let's put it over here. On the bottom, we have 72 minus 24. Now on top, this is how I usually tell my students to do. You keep the work on the right hand, the left hand side so it's really clean. You teach her. Uh, when she grades your paper or he grades your paper, it can easily follow and you leave all the work you want to do on the right hand side. So you're still showing your work, but then you keep it clean enough so that if you want to go back, you can check your work easily. 1 minus radical 3 on top times 6 radical 2 plus 2 radical 6. It's not hard, but it's messy. So let's do it slowly and keep track of what we getting for each term. What I'm doing here is showing you underbelly lines and up on the hat on top. Okay, 1 times 6 radical 2, I have 6 radical 2, and then 1 times that, I have 2 radical 6. Okay, no, notice the next thing I'm going to do is minus 3 radical times this one, I have um, 6 radical 6, but it's a minus, minus 6 radical 6. I put it down here instead of up here so that I can line them up and now make the clean house and accounting a little easier. Okay, radical 3 times radical 6, I have a 2 radical plus, uh, that's a minus, minus 2 radical 18. Okay, 18 has a 9 in there, so I need to simplify it a little bit. So, so far I have, let's add it together, I have a 6 radical 2, okay, minus 4 radical 6, minus 2 times radical 9, radical 2. Okay, that's how I get um, 18 here. 6 radical 2 minus 4 radical 6 minus 2 times 3, which is really 6, radical 2. Ah, radical 6, uh, radical 2 cancels out. So I have a minus radical 6. Let's go back all the way up here, okay? So we simplified top here. We got uh, minus 4 radical 6, okay? A uh, couple more steps and then we're done. 72, 24, we have a 4, um, 48 over here. So minus 4 radical 6 over 48. And there's a common factor of 4. Let's take care of that. Uh, minus radical 6 and then 21. Okay, so here's your answer. Have a confident day.